Hi, Jason here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase sales with chat GPT. So I'm going to give you five specific methods that you can use. This is perfect for you if you've got an online business. I mean, let's face it, to be honest with you, all businesses, even offline businesses, use online to generate new business to their physical premises. So the first method then, let's get stuck in with that. And that is going to be split testing your content. So if you are doing any kind of advertising online and you're driving people traffic to a page, it's very important to use split testing. Now, if you're not familiar with what split testing is, it's really very simple. We're going to show two different versions of a page to a person visiting that site. So let's say you were sending a thousand people from Facebook to a landing page. You're going to show them two different versions and we're going to have the software, whichever you're using, you can use like a fast funnels, what I'm about to show you now, or Unbounce or any of those other sort of major landing page companies. And then you're going to see which one is producing the best results. Now, ChatGPT can really help you get that headline or the sales copy really, really good so you can quickly create a successful test. So take this particular page that I've got right here. If I go to uh, my funnel, again, this is just using fast funnels. You can get a free trial of this underneath this video if you need to uh, do this. Uh, unfair disclosure, I am the CEO of Fast Funnels, so I'm a little bit biased, but you know, here it is. Here's the opt-in page, and as you can see, there is version A and version B. So this is version A. We've got how to start a brand new agency in the lucrative funnel building niche. This is a, a genuine page that I was using for a generation of leads. And then we've got this second version here, which is this one, and it's how to grow a funnel agency from zero to six figures in year one. So there's two different versions and we can go to ChatGPT and actually ask it to create a different hook for us. So I'm just going to paste in this, this particular prompt right here and you can adjust this to your own business and you'll see it in just a moment. But I've said, can you create a hook headline to help me have people opt in to learn more about my business opportunity. The business helps people get set up with a clone of my six figure sales funnel agency. So let's see what it does with that. And it hopefully give us some nice short down to the point headlines that we can use to split test with. So as I say, there's a lot of different uh, platforms out there that you can do this with, you can split test with, and it doesn't just have to be headlines, but I think the headline is one of the major factors that's quick and easy to change that will keep people on the page and also get them to opt in, for example. So here's some ones that it's given me. Look at this. Unlock the secret to six figure sales funnel success with our clone agency. Join now. So I would, I don't want them to join at this point. So I'd probably be like opt in now or, or find out more or something like that. Um, and then discover a simple way to launch a successful sales funnel business. Um, so you can use any of these and I can just literally take this now and go over to my funnel and in that other option there. So we've got option A and option B. I'll edit my B like this and then I can just paste in that new uh, hook and headline that ChatGPT has given me. And then when I drive traffic to this sales funnel, they'll just be split evenly and I'll be able to see which one is the most successful at converting them into a lead. So that is the first way that you can use ChatGPT. It's to help you do split testing and uh, getting that perfect headline or that perfect sales copy that gets you more uh, success so you can earn more money. Next thing that you can do, and I love this one, this is going to be to help you learn more about your market and where you can actually get more traffic from if you're doing any kind of SEO. So if we paste in, I'm just going to paste this in right now. Uh, let's let's get this whole description here. It's quite, it's quite a good prompt, this one. And again, I'll zoom in. You can see it. But let's just put that in now. I have a software platform called Fast Funnels that helps people run their online business and build sales funnels, websites, and e-commerce stores. Can you provide me with 20 keyword clusters for SEO purposes for this business in a table with a brief description of why each keyword cluster would be good to target? So there's the prompt and here's the results. 
And the reason I love that description as well is because it just helps you understand its thinking. And what this is really good for, for your business, is to kind of discover keyword group maybe that you hadn't really thought of you know maybe you're involved with uh, some email software or something but you hadn't thought about this other niche that you could target or this other kind of side angle that would bring your customers to your site so right now we've got uh, all these here look at these these are brilliant sales funnels website builder e-commerce store landing pages lead generation digital marketing email marketing all these are fantastic membership sites. And let's see what it says about that particular one just there while it's still going and going here. Membership sites are a popular way for businesses to generate recurring revenue. By targeting this keyword, you can attract customers who are looking for software to help them build and manage membership sites. So it's really put like thought into all of these and it's still going. I love this one, a ClickFunnels alternative because that's exactly what FastFunnels is. Um, ClickFunnels is a popular sales funnel software, but some users may be looking for alternatives. By targeting this keyword, you can attract potential customers who are searching for alternatives to ClickFunnels. Makes sense to me. So do this for your niche as well, and let's use it to uncover all of these different keyword groups that perhaps we hadn't gone down. Now that you have these, obviously you can take this particular keyword that it's given you, that kind of niche, uh, sub-niche, if you will, of people who are most likely to use your service, and you just literally ask it for a list of keywords based around webinar software that have buyer intent. So people who are very much looking to purchase that particular product. Really, really good way of doing it. And then you can use other, uh, other more up-to-date kind of uh, keyword tools like href, ahref, and things like that to find current keywords or seodt um, that I've got a link for underneath. I use that one. I really like it. It's very inexpensive and it will really help you uncover a ton of other keywords you could be using for your business. So if you're finding this useful, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also, by the way, while I have you, I have just launched a free chat GPT community where we can all geek out on this stuff and talk about chat GPT and the amazing ways in which you can use it. There's a link underneath this video for that. Uh, so do just click on that and join the community. It's completely free. Um, next way that you can use ChatGPT to increase your sales. So this one is actually to create courses. And you may be thinking, well, you know, I don't have one at the moment. And, you know, my customers are just doing, you know, aren't even familiar with us uh, selling any kind of education of any sort. However, this might be a really nice bolt on for you because using using chat GPT, you can create courses at warp speed. So look at this one here. I've just said out of interest. Can you give me an outline for a course that would teach people how to become successful at the basic use of Microsoft Excel for small business owners? Now, even though that may not be my core business, what it would do is attract potential customers to my business because they're all small business owners. So you've got to look at it like that. It doesn't always have to be a course specifically about your thing. It can be something useful that your customers would love. And look at what it's done for us there in seconds. It's created uh, like a top level module and then subcategories like an introduction, an overview of Microsoft Excel, benefits of using Excel for small businesses, and then getting started with Excel. And you can have it create the content for all of these lessons. It's actually uh, incredible at doing that. And of course, another thing you can use chat GPT for is actually creating Microsoft Excel formulas, but that's a whole nother story and another video. So use it to create a course that will, uh, you can give away for free or you can sell, but either way it pulls in more people into your business and increases your sales. The next thing that I really love chat GPT for is to create email sequences and sometimes, you know, writing out all of these emails and giving good value with them all can take a long time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, let's just uh, get this entire thing here. You'll like this. 
This one here is going to create me an email sequence for a fictitious product um, called Spotless for people with acne. Okay, so let's just take a little look here and see what exactly I've put in. I've put, can you suggest subject lines and topics for a five email sequence? Uh, I need the emails to be interesting to my audience of people wanting to become acne free. Can you create the content for the first email subject? Also add a call to action to find out more about my amazing acne treatment. So it's off and away and here we go. So email one, it's got subject line and topic. And look at all these, say goodbye to acne, introducing spotless. Acne free skin is within reach. Uh, get ready to meet your best skin yet. Spotless is here, the ultimate solution for acne. Clear skin is just a click away. And then it's got the, the actual email subject line there. And it's also got all of the uh, content. Now the content is really, really good because what it said there is, uh, are you tired of struggling with acne? Do you feel like you've tried every product in the market without seeing any results? So it's hitting their pain point straight away. And you can use this to go and create a whole sequence of emails that would have otherwise taken you a lot of thought, a lot of time, um, and you know possibly you'd have to have outsourced this to someone else who wants to charge you money. But now because you can create this sort of stuff at an amazing speed using ChatGPT, you should be able to produce massive email sequences, like 10, 15, 20, 30 emails. And really, you should try and add more value into them and then have uh, a call to action at the end. Don't just hit them with buy, 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 buy. Again, another separate argument, but this is a great way to increase sales as far as I can see. Now, another really good way that uh, I love uh, using this, I really do, and this is to understand your audience and their pain points better. This is another way you can use ChatGPT to really increase your sales. So let's just say I want to learn more about my target market who might buy my fictitious product called Spotless. I've put what are the biggest fears and concerns of people suffering from acne? My target audience are females between 16 and 25 years old. Please write the fear, then a more detailed explanation of each one and put it in a table. So let's see how well it does with that. Now, the reason I get it to do it at a table, because it's just really clear then, you know, dead clear for you to be able to uh, look at. And by the way, anytime you want to store this or just keep this somewhere else or put it in a Google Doc, you can copy this table. You just literally click on it and just drag over with your mouse like that and then paste it straight into a Google Doc or Word Doc, whatever you want. But this is, this is the list of fears and these are brilliant. Now, if I'm an affiliate marketer, for example, and I want to increase my sales, maybe I've seen this product as selling like crazy for, in the acne world, but I don't really understand the acne world. I don't know what people's biggest fears are uh, to my target market. Look how useful this is. And what I love about it with the explanation you are just getting so much more information and better understanding than just the fear. So this one here says fear of scarring or long-term skin damage. Uh, explanation, severe acne can lead to scarring or hyperpigmentation, which may be permanent. This can cause individuals to worry about the long-term impact on their appearance and self-esteem. So, you know, really good, a definite fear and a great explanation of it. Another one here, concerns about makeup and other cosmetic products. Now, the reason that it's done this is because I was very specific in that I said this was for females between 16 and 25. Uh, individuals may worry that makeup or other cosmetic products will exasperate their acne or make it harder to manage. They may also feel self-conscious about their appearance without makeup, which can contribute to feelings of anxiety or low self-esteem. So these are, this is basically marketing gold if you are looking to target that particular market and increase your sales. You might already be in the market, but this is going to enable you to really go deeper and probably discover some new things about your market that you hadn't thought of before. Uh, you know, sometimes to find out this stuff, you've got to trawl through Facebook groups of people suffering from acne in this case, or go into forums and start reading all the posts or Reddit or things like that. But now you've just got a great way with ChatGPT to learn more about your market and just have all of this information in a nice, clear, concise way without trawling through ads and just pointless stuff.
<laughs> we haven't got time for that anymore. You know, ChatGPT is a time saver. So let's use it for that. And so that's about it. That is the that is five ways of many, and there are many more, and we'll discuss some of them in my free chat GPT community. As I said, there's a link underneath this to come and join and come and say hi, come and talk about what you're doing with chat GPT. There's loads of people joining. It's literally just open, but there's loads of people joining and there's lots of free training in there as well. So uh, I hope you like it. If you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.